Hey guys, so in this video we're going to make it so we can get out of the car and walk around and uh, all that good stuff. Um, so the first thing we'll do is we'll go into our, con actually we'll go to our inputs, edit project settings, input, and we'll make a new action to leave vehicle, or we'll call it interact. <clears throat> By default we'll make this the F key, F and uh, we'll add a motion controller, um, thumbstick down. Motion controller R, thumbstick, should be good. All right, so we'll, that'll be good for now. Uh, we'll go to our blueprints, controllers, PC human controller, and uh, we'll right click, interact, and uh, we'll get controlling vehicle. And if we are controlling a vehicle, we want to exit the vehicle, so uh, we can put this function on the vehicle or we can put it on the controller. If we put it on the vehicle, we could do stuff like have police in the vehicle and make them exit using it, but I'm not sure that'll really save us time since we'll need to make a different frame of PCs anyway, so let's just put it on the controller for now. Uh, so true, leave vehicle. And if we leave the vehicle, we want to get our controlled vehicle, get mesh, and uh, we want to get component bounds. Uh, sphere radius should be good. So we'll get actor location. And um, we'll do vector plus vector. And uh, we'll also do get forward vector. And then we'll multiply this. Uh, actually, get right vector. Get right vector. We'll multiply this by sphere radius times negative one. So we go on the, to the left. And um, so get actor location plus that. I don't know why there's a third pin, but we'll get rid of that. And we're going to do spawn actor from class. And we're going to need to make our human now. We have a base human that we can use, but we want to make a player controller one. So let's just do base human for now. And we'll also do possess. And um, try to adjust location, but always spawn. And I guess we'll get world rotation. Or just get actor rotation, rather. And we'll set that to the rotation of our human. Compile, save. So let's see what happens when we do that. All right. <clears throat> oh. All right, so that's one thing that did is it spawned a uh, AI controller for that, so it made the guy walk around. So we'll fix that up by making our human. So we'll go to our humans, create child blueprint class, and we'll call this player pawn human. Actually, we'll call it human player pawn. And what will we do in here? We're going to add the motion controllers, but we'll also fix that problem by going to here and um, we already have it so we'll just do disabled uh, let me just make sure that that doesn't whoops actually let's go back to our controller we'll make sure we spawn the player pawn human instead play f all right now let's make it so we can move this dude so if we're not controlling a vehicle Right, so we need to set our controlled human. So when we leave vehicle, put this to a variable, controlled human. And we'll set control uh set controlling vehicle to false. Alright, and um just for third person, I'm gonna add motion controllers and first person and all that for VR, but just for testing, I'm gonna add a spring arm. And uh 
a camera to that. To set the socket off set to 50 so the camera's above. Alright, so that works. And uh, let's go to our controller. We'll make it so we can move the human now. Oh, uh, we also do here. On begin play, so we set that. Um, let's also just add it so we can have a human off the bat. Cast base human. We're going to set controlled human and right. So we're going to have to cast this to player upon human. You know what, um, control human, for that let's just make it a base human, just so we don't have issues down the road, change variable type, it's fine. And lead vehicle, it should still work, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so that'll work better. Alright, and we'll set control vehicle to false, just to make sure, and we'll also reset the orientation and all that. All right, <clears throat> so, um, right, the movement. So we'll just change this to movement. And what is this nonsense? Oh, that's for the touch steering. We don't need that print screen anymore. We need you. All right, so move forward. We're controlling a vehicle, set our throttle. For controlling a human, add movement input, axis value, get forward, get actor forward vector. All right, so that's done. And we'll just control C, control V, false, move right, get right vector. And that's done. That was easy. Now we'll go into our human, base human, actually we'll go into a, this one. Uh, how do we want to do this? So we took this off, right? <clears throat> so we could make it so that when we, yeah. So let's go to base human and let's go to the event graph. And let's do possessed, event possessed. New controller cast to player controller. PC human controller. What I'm going to do here is change how the actor gets rotation um, based on the pawn um, or the controller rather just so it'll look proper. So orient rotation to movement. We want to set use controller desired rotation to true. Set orient rotation to movement to false. And um, use controller rotation yaw to true. All right, so that'll be for humans. And just for the sake of if it's possessed, if we repossess it by an AI, we'll set all this to the reverse. And let's just make sure this still works, just for the sake of it. Yeah, we're getting errors, so let's see what the error is. Oh, that's just adding movement input, because, uh, yes. Alright, so, AI is still working. Let's check out our humans. Alright, we can move. It's not using the mouse for input, so uh, let's add that. I think it's because we don't have that at all. I'm not sure we even have the movement or the looking input, so let's go check. Uh, look up. Turn. Okay, so we have turn. Hmm. Uh, we'll make sure we're controlling um, a vehicle, or a human rather. Or did we already have that move right? Now we're using move right, which is the strafing for the human, so turn is fine. Turn we can add to the camera, actually. So yeah, let's just, yeah, let's just uh, 
type yaw, add yaw input, and that should be good actually. Let's see what that does to the vehicle. Nothing. All right, and then our human is working. And uh, let's do look up, and we'll do add pitch, add pitch input. F. All right, so we want to go back to our human. And here we'll set use pawn control rotation in our spring arm so we can look up and down. Yeah, that works. Whoops. <laughs> All right, so that's mostly working, basically. Uh, yeah. You know, we could move the spring arm to the base human and just not even have the player pawn human. That might even be a better idea. Let's control X. Control V. I mean, you get all the AIs are gonna. Ha oh, don't crash Unreal. Okay, good. All the AIs are gonna have it, which is kind of not necessary, I guess. But it's not really that big of a deal, I don't think. And it makes it gives us some advantages, like we can possess these at will, which I don't know. It depends on the game you want, I guess. But for now, we'll just be lazy and do it this way. Let's just make sure this still works. Looking good. All right. Okay, so let's add VR support now. Um, actually, this video is starting to get long, so I'll put VR support in the next video. So thanks for watching this one, and I'll see you in the next one.